dupla do filme Transformers, O Último Cavaleiro, que estreia agora dia 20 de julho aqui no Brasil. So, I'd like to start saying happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have time to celebrate, to have a cake? Yeah, no, I had just a, too many cakes, I think. <laughs> people, I mean, people's like go-to thing, you know, it's not like a gift card. It's like, I'm going to buy her a freaking cake here. <laughs> so I had so much cake. Oh, how nice. Even, even the people at the hotel, actually, they all got, they all pitched in, apparently, and got me like chocolates and, and uh, Havaianas and a robe from the hotel. Oh, how nice. <laughs> I think it's because they saw me walking around with a robe so much. They were like, oh, that's what we're going to get her. And everyone signed the card, like oh. housekeeping, guest services, everyone signed it. So nice. Nice, how nice. So at this young age, you have been to musical theater with Evita. Mm -hmm. You have your own show on Nickelodeon. And now you're in this big, huge production. So how do you look back? And, and see what went to your, through your life. <laughs> um, uh, how do I look back? I don't look back. Oh, nice. I don't. <laughs> um, I just kind of live in the now, whether it's like, oh, this movie did well, okay. Or, oh, this movie did bad, okay, fine. Me continue living life, and, and uh, I just hope to continue acting because I like it. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am a huge, a huge fan of acting. It doesn't feel like work. Oh, how nice. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> And so, how was it uh, to work with these big superstars like Mark Wahlberg and Anthony Hopkins? How was it when you get to the to the set? Well, well, initially, you know, I was intimidated um, by the thought of them. You know, you 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 almost I, I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to meet their idol because I'm scared that they're not going to be. Not, yeah, and then it just ruins everything for you. So I was like really nervous. But when I first met Mark Wahlberg, you know, he was super cool. Like, exactly what you'd expect him to be. He's super chill. Um, obsessed with wearing Wahlbergers caps. Um, and then, you know, he, he was super nice initially, especially because he found I was from Cleveland for some reason. Um, he was super nice. And then, you know, he would always be protective of me when my guy friends would come to visit on set. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was like, he hated that because he thought they were all my boyfriends. <laughs> no. Um, and then Anthony Hopkins, I didn't really get to work with him much, but I did get to meet him a few times. Um, and I saw a lot of him on this press tour. I saw one of your videos in YouTube that you are just, he's having a little makeup. Uh -huh, and like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also, <laughs> we did a Snapchat filter, to, filter together because um, he likes those. But the problem is I did it with him and then he would never like stop asking me to continue doing this. <laughs> He'd be like, the next time he saw me, he was like, oh, the, 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 the ghost. The, uh -huh. the yellow ghost. I'm like, Snapchat? <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, okay, here we go again. Um, and <laughs> it's great. No, nice. And what was your favorite moment of the movie? And what was the most difficult one to shoot? Um, my favorite scene of the movie... Any of the scenes towards the beginning of the movie where, where I'm, I'm saving the boys. Mm -hmm. And the most difficult scene to shoot was probably the Detroit um, uh, fighting sequence where we're running from several forces, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and it's just all that running was a pain. I just I I, I remember it. I've never. I don't think I've done cardio since this movie ended. Like I used to be really good about it, <laughs> and now I'm like never again. I have like a PTSD type thing. And to finish, what's next? Uh, to finish what. Um, I'm doing I'm doing Soldado, which is the Sicario sequel. Or no, sorry, they told me not to say sequel. It's follow up. <laughs> sorry, okay. follow up. Different uh, directors: Stefano Salima, Benicio del Toro, Josh Brolin, um, and I play the the female lead. So nice. no pressure. Just no. just going after Emily <laughs> Blunt. You know, it's fine. Um, <laughs> no, but it's really traumatic. It's it's quite different because it, it's not only like. Uh, two million, a couple million less than this movie, but um, uh, there's also a lot of like really dark uh, themes throughout the movie, including the fact that I get, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a kidnapped victim and I chop my hair off and. Um, That's why you cut your hair. Yeah. Oh, no, nice. big changes happened. Oh, okay. So good luck. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They have been here forever, hidden in the shadows.
protect Earth from what was destined to arrive. You are needed, sir. Kindly come with me. I'll swat this metal cockroach for Bring it on! What, run off with some crazy ninja butler? In Julio. For my world to live, Earth must die. This isn't you, Prime. Stop! Stop! I want to stay, and I want to fight them. I think you're a badass, huh, little J-Lo? The director Michael Bay. It's real. All of it. The final battle is upon us. Transformers, o último cavaleiro. We better have some skills today, buddy. You are out of your mind. 20 de julho nos cinemas.